we're in the holiday season. It's coming up, and uh, Chef Marty's an old man in town. He goes to all the big food shows throughout the country. And so he has picked out uh, alcohol that's different than you're used to seeing, and definitely turkeys and hams and other things, and, and, uh, and the regular cuts of meat and all, but from the best uh, vendors, really. That's the thing. So uh, if you want something maybe a little upscale, this is the man who knows all this. So, <laughs> Chef Marty, uh, welcome to the show. Yeah, well, thanks. Happy holidays to you, Rich. Good to be here. Uh, yeah, in the past, as you know, sometimes I do some holiday recipes for you this season. Right. Uh, uh, this year, I wanted to make it a little easier. Uh, I've got a couple, a few companies here that provide really wonderful foods, but that are ready to serve just the way they are. You don't have to yeah. do anything but put like them on the easy. table and, I like and, it easy. And, and open the packaging. Like, for example... These turkeys, uh, obviously with Thanksgiving and Christmas coming up, a company called Plainville Farms. Now, I'm not going to say I've tried every turkey in the world, but of every one that I've tried, this is it. These, are, these are absolutely the best that I've tried. Uh, uh, Antibiotic-free, humanely raised, hormone-free. Um, I like the humanely yeah, raised. Yeah, it means yeah, a lot. Yeah, uh, available, uh, available in a number of stores around the area, especially mm -hmm. the... The top quality uh, uh, natural natural food stores mm -hmm. uh, over here. One of my favorite companies around for charcuterie, mm -hmm. uh, sausages, pâtés, uh, yeah. uh, Big things guy. like uh, like wild game. Like here, we've got uh, they make a, a wild boar pâté. Um, this one is venison pâté. This is duck with an orange sauce and some sausages and smoked salmon's and. And here, my my favorite all-time ham. If you're going to have a ham for like, uh, you know, sandwich-style ham or slice for for dinner, or uh, uh, just you know, delicious. And all you got to do is cooked. just yeah, everything is ready. Just open it up, open it up, serve it. Slice you know, it and serve I it. might have to burden you by mm -hmm. put, giving your telephone number out on the air Absolutely. because I I know that there are going to be so many things here in the short period of time. Nobody's going to remember everything. Maybe they mm -hmm. will. Uh, but uh, if not, I want to suggest, uh, maybe we have it on the screen, the phone number, you can reach him directly, Chef Marty, 202-265-0477, uh, or uh, you can email him even, uh, Chef uh, Marty DC 2 the number 2, at AOL.com, and uh, you'll answer those emails, won't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, anybody has any questions, not just about products or, or companies, but any cooking questions, any questions about holiday food traditions, uh, we'll try to help you out. Now, before we get to the yeah. alcohol stuff, you've got here okay. a prime rib thing. Right. Now, over here, you got to do a little bit of work. But uh, my favorite company for beef in the country, Stockyards, they've been around in, out of Chicago for over 100 years. Uh, this is the quality of meat that you, that you normally only find in the best restaurants around the country, uh -huh. the, in the top steakhouses. Uh -huh. This is prime aged beef. It's... You know, it used to be, they used to say about the top 2% of the beef that's produced in the country. Now it's down to less than the top 1%. Huh. Uh, this, is, this is the real stuff. Um, again, this is mail order. They got the, you can get it on their website, um, whatever. Stockyards, just look up Stockyards. Sto stockyards. Stockyards.com. Uh, stockyards, uh, it's as yeah. simple as that. Okay. Uh, prime rib here, I mean, you take a look at this. You can see this is a, this is a I don't know. 12, about 12, 14 pounder. Yeah. This will serve 20 people. Mm. Uh, yeah, you just see this being served on New Year's Eve. You abs know? Absolutely. Great for a great party. For a little smaller party. Uh, rack of rack, lamb? Yep, rack of lamb. Uh, they carry both, uh, both the domestic as well as the imported from New Zealand. Mm -hmm. uh, back to the steaks. Again, prime steaks, New York strips, uh, Porterhouse, filet mignon, uh, T-bone over okay, here. This is all stockyards, uh, right all, here. All stockyards. And, uh, you have to do a little work for this. Okay. Unless you like it raw, you got to do a little bit of cooking yeah, here. It's all right. But again, you can tell, you can see by the way it's laid out, already pre-trimmed, everything, I, I, I like everything the, ready just to apply yeah, heat. Yep. I uh, just also uh, just let's kind of give a little survey of this okay. stuff. Okay. For the, example, this champagne here. We, I'm sorry, <laughs> I, we opened it early and we drank it all. But uh, Tattinger, I mm -hmm. know they're a great. Great champagne. Mm -hmm. um, you got anything else you want to say well, about that? Well, very simply, uh, champagne is one of those drinks that goes with almost anything. Yeah. Um, so we're talking here about things that you can serve for your own holidays, uh -huh. holiday parties, or give as gifts. Uh, 
you know, you got a, one of the oldest, most traditional houses in France here for right. Champagne. Can't go wrong with this. No. Uh, as you know, we tried a little before, and we certainly didn't right. go wrong with it. Now, a little less expensive along the same line, uh, if you remember, uh, sparkling wine has to be from the Champagne region to right. call it Champagne. So this is a sparkling wine. Um, it is not from Champagne, but uh, about half the price for very, very similar quality. Uh, this is from Alsace, yeah. not too far away from the Champagne yeah. region. And this is uh, the Albrecht, Lucien Albrecht, uh, Brut Rosé, just as good as, in my opinion, as many, many of the, uh, the Rosé uh, Champagnes. If I may, um, uh, Chef Marty, I like absolutely. to jump to this because uh, rye whiskey, mm -hmm. all these younger people, I'm sure if you're uh, even 60 or under, you might not know rye whiskey, but in New York City, uh, when you'd have a Manhattan or something in the old days, it was rye, not scotch, mm. not bourbon, not uh, just a blend. It was rye. And there's a young guy, he's only 40, and his wife Becky out just beyond Leesburg. Mm -hmm. uh, they opened up a Ketakin, uh, that's the name of the mountain, of course, Ketakin uh, Creek. And uh, they, uh, they got a, a great, I tasted this, a great, uh, wonderful rye. Mm -hmm. um, now, go ahead. Uh, okay, well, I know we don't have too much time, no. so I want to show you a few new things. Mm -hmm. Absinthe, been off the market uh, for almost 100 years. Uh, now back with us, a new maker uh, near Philadelphia. Also, similarly, their, uh, uh, their gin. Here is a very high-quality vodka from Vermont, Vermont Gold, made out of maple syrup, maple sap, actually. Nice, nice. Uh, a couple of great... Um, Great wines from California. In this case, we've got a Quivira and a St. Francis. Uh, both the similar, similar grapes. Uh, um, That's Zinfandel. Both, uh, Zinfandel. Right. Very, very nice wines. Right. Uh, we've got about a minute. The, uh, um, I have one old classic in here. The uh, the Beaujolais Village, you know, this time of the year, the Nouvelle that's right. are coming Nouveau. in. They put a Nouvelle are coming I, I in on the it. airplanes. I love it. Let me, in the um, time we have left here in this segment, Chef Marty, mm -hmm. I want to mention again, it might be easy for you folks if you remember the phone number directly to this man, 202-265-0477, or uh, Chef Marty, D.C., the number two at AOL.com. Now, he's got a DC Dining Society. You might want to latch on to that. Right. Now, he gives big deal parties. Not just do we do big deal parties, but if you want to try some of these, yeah. oh, we've got our Thanksgiving banquet, Christmas banquet coming up. Mm. The Sunday after Thanksgiving, we're going to be at Taberna del Alabradero serving all of these drinks along with the brunch. Got to say goodbye, Chef Marty. Also, come and see us at, uh, at Schneider's on Capitol Hill. Try them. Okay. You'll like them. Thank you for your time. Chef. Again, pleasure. pleasure. Happy holidays, everybody. All right. Back to the desk. Well, that was a, an interview I did with Chef Marty about a week ago or so, and so we just played it. And I hope uh, you, you gained something from that as far as food products go and all. Uh, next week is our big Christmas show, and you don't want to miss that. And we'll have the full staff here and everything. So in the meantime, I'll just say good night uh, and happy holidays, and we'll see you next week for our Christmas show. Thank you.